black and white dr janeva perl duncan obubi who is the lead consultant and from tarragon ads limited ghana she is one of the active member of this uh, speakers i mean international 21st century women's group and uh, maybe she is uh, physically didn't attend it yesterday but uh, hopefully this she will join for the next upcoming years as well and thank you so much for joining us today thank you too i'm happy to be here yeah, okay so it's an um, honor. you are able to see the screen right yes i am yeah so i would like to share a few thoughts on smart networking and business growth and like i said um it's been two days and i'm sure we've all had great things great um nuggets on how we can grow our businesses but i would like to touch on networking because i think the kind of world we find ourselves today networking is one of the greatest tools that can help jump start our businesses and also um help us in terms of growth growth and sustainability so why do we even need networking at all from what we are seeing today i mean the us currently some people have joined us from south africa some are joining us from nigeria austria um all over the world and if this is not through technology and networking then what is it so i think we all need to embrace and also remember that we need some key strategies to adapt and that is why i term it smart to adapt in growing our businesses and i'd like to start my presentation with a little quote i'm sure we've all heard it over and over again that um our network is our net worth and that is by porter gill and then i also want to share a few thoughts from olawale daniel he says um make use of your network I i'm actually not waiting for you to move the slide so i'm going on <laughs> but i think whoever is managing the slide should follow so that um it will be easier for all of us so you make your use of your network but we don't want you to overuse your network because like we all know um if somebody feel over exploited or over abused what happens is that we don't get the best of that person so as much as we are talking about networking as much as we want to um leverage on the kind of networks that we have it's also very important for us not to over abuse our network don't give too much pressure to your network relationships are supposed to be built so that we can leverage on it and then get to the next level in case we need it and it should be a give and take it should be reciprocal it shouldn't be something that i feel over exploited because once i feel over exploited what happens is that um now i'll be shunning away from you and that is not what as business people people we want to get um in terms of introduction i'm sure we all know that networking is basically we making use or good use of our contacts and the people around us it can be through someone just like we are doing today there are lots of people i didn't know before but today i've heard of milani i've heard the story of simon i've i've seen other people share their stories so this is a big platform for me to network and then leverage on their expertise and then from now on if i need anybody in this kind of field i could just extend my 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 invitation to any of them because there has been a platform for me to meet them so in defining networking i'll just want to briefly say that um we should always remember that we are two three or four people away from the people we actually want and in saying that it means that don't despise small beginnings whoever you meet today whoever you come across today don't think that it is what i'm getting today it can even be 2 years 3 years 4 years or even 5 years or even a decade from now but whoever you meet today through a handshake through a meeting can propel you to the next level and that is how i want us to view networking if we didn't view it like that let's start viewing it like that from today um why at all do we need to network why is it important katie i think you are really behind why at all do we need to um network we network because for me i think it's a gold mine we need to tap into it 
we need to leverage on it. We need to be able to get the best out of the kind of people that we have around us. And looking at this conference alone, I think we have over 20 speakers. So for me as a speaker outside the shores of Madrid, I can get to reach out to about 20 more women after today. And that is the power of networking. That is how we should see and view networking. I think sometimes your name is mentioned before you even get there due to networking. And that is the power we need to find in networking with key people and also um, the kind of societies or networks that we find ourselves. Networking, I think, has a few features that I would want to share with all of us. The first one I would like to share with us is that it's a skill. You can learn it. So don't think that you're not at it or you, you, you are not the best when it comes to networking. You can actually learn it. You can actually move from being good to being better. And how do you do that? It's a skill. So you learn it. You can learn it through reading. You can learn it through socializing with other people who are very good. For instance, getting somebody who is a mentor, somebody who can coach you in that area so that you become better in terms of networking. It also involves building relationships. So we build it before we need it. We don't need it and then we go for it. No, we build it. So you build it over time. So today, for instance, I have been able to hear Milani speak. I've heard Simone speak. How do I build relationship with Milani or Simone? If I think that they fall within the category of people that I want to associate with, I start building the relationship. So after today's talk, probably I send them a hi. Oh, it was great hearing you speak. It was a very good delivery. Then we start a relationship from there, or we build a relationship from there. That is can how you, can you, you build please it. confirm the slide is fine? This is the slide. No, one, you right? need to move to the next level. I'm actually like three or four away from you. This the one? next, the next, actually. Okay, so no. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, next one. So what I'm trying to this. say is that it's no, not this one, the, the previous one. What I'm trying to say is that in building your networks, you, you, you actually become intentional about it. It's not something that you just do for doing purposes. You have to be intentional about it. And in being intentional, you gradually manage the relationship. So if the person is on LinkedIn, you follow the person. If the person is somebody who is interested in a particular area, you might not necessarily be interested in that area. But in building relationship, you become a follower to that person. Whatever interest that person becomes an interest area for you as well. And that is how we leverage and that is how we build the kind of relationships that we want to build. So um, in all, I would like to say that collaboration for me, it's key now because um, we cannot network effectively if we are not collaborating properly. And for us women, especially, um, I think it's high time we stop competing. Yes, I can be in the same industry as you, but we are not competitors in this view. In this view, I would say that we should collaborate more because you see there is power in collaboration. When we collaborate more to do beautiful things, we impact the world even more better. And that is how we as women should see businesses now. We collaborate strategically across the globe because there are no boundaries in businesses now. I can be here and be doing your kind of business on your behalf or be your strategic partner in Ghana whilst you live in South Africa, whilst you live in Georgia, whilst you live in the US. So we have no boundaries and that is how we are supposed to say it. So now on the slide that you are on now, it's just about talking about the four C's that I want us to adapt in networking. And um, this I give the... Uh, credit to Ivan Messner. So he says that for us to build strategic networks, it's very important to look at four Cs. And these four Cs are basically competence, credibility, clarity, and connectivity. And research has actually shown that 73% of businesses get most referrals through networking. And I always say that, why should I spend so much money in advertising? In, 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 in doing publicity when somebody can easily do that for me. So I'm not in the room, but my name is mentioned. 
So even before I get there, the work has been done like 70% already for me. And that is how we should view networking now. This is the way to go if you want your businesses to go. This is the way to go if you want to leverage on the kind of relationships you have and grow your businesses and make it more sustainable. So he says that in looking at networking effectively, look at credibility, look at competence, look at clarity. How clear are you? How connected are you? How credible are you? Because um, for me, integrity means everything. And in talking about credibility, what integrity have I lived? Or how, how strong am I when it comes to um, credibility? Why would Katie recommend me? Why would somebody recommend me and say that, give Dr. Genevieve this job, give Dr. Genevieve this role? Why would the person do that? It is because we've built a relationship, but not just the relationship, there is credibility. The person can actually say that I'm vouching for Dr. Genevieve. She has what it takes to get this job done. And that is credibility for me. So in building your network, I want you to remember that adopting the four C's by Misna is very critical. Be competent. Yes, have what it takes to do it. I have a term I use, we have the content and the structure. Don't just be on social media, I'm enjoying the, you know, all that comes with it, but the content is not right. Because when I encounter you and I realize that you don't have what it takes so I'm seeing more than just what I see over on social media. But now I have had the chance to encounter you. How good are you? Do you have what it takes to get me the job done? So if this is not, then it means that you don't have what it takes. So you would go into a network, but you realize that it doesn't give you the kind of benefits that you expect. Also, in terms of um, clarity, be very clear on what you want. It is not every relationship that you need to go into. It is not every network that calls for you or calls for your kind of attention. So know what to do and when to do it. Even in terms of social media, I would say that it is not all the platforms that are good for businesses. So know what is best for your business and take good advantage of it or leverage on it. And then in terms of connectivity, like I cited, this is a great platform. I have met quite over 20 or more women. How am I going to connect with them right from this minute after the presentations have been made or after the three-day conference? Those of you fortunately in Madrid, you've connected physically with a lot of people. How are you going to move to the next level in your business after this discussions or after this conference. So these are some of the key things that we should remember when it comes to we networking. And I'm sure once we, we, we remember that every handshake counts, every meeting counts. So we don't abuse any relationship. What we do is that once we meet people, if we think that they are kind of people that we want in our network, we start building the relationship right from there. And that is the way to go in terms of building greater and stronger businesses across the globe. Benefits of networking, I'm sure we all know, but just to share a few highlights, I think it would help us to develop great partnerships. Like I said, it also helps us to become more influential in our fields because we get to learn from each other. We get to collaborate more. We get to know what others are doing, best practices. We get to share knowledge. We get to become more efficient and more productive. And for me, um, I think there are great ideas in everybody's mind. We all have passion. We all have purposes that we need to fulfill on this earth before we go to our maker, wherever we find ourselves in the future, wherever you believe in. But the key point is you might have an idea. I might have the solution to making that idea realized. So by networking with the right people, it means that we are one step ahead of the game. And that is how it's supposed to be. And that is how we are supposed to view network. Another food for thought for me is that I need all of us to remember that, like Germany Ken said, it's very important for us to be intentional about the kind of networks we build. So you leverage on your network, but you need to also build it intentionally. And I would say it is always important to be visible. So if you find yourself on LinkedIn, 
you don't need to be under pressure, but make sure that you are just visible on the right social media networks because it is through visibility that I'm sure today I'm speaking here. I've never met any of you, but through visibility, today we are all on one platform speaking. And if we want our businesses to grow, this is how we need to see networking in a smart way. Just to conclude, I would say that um, for me, I would always stand by the fact that as women, we need to be more collaborative. We need to come together. We need to pull our efforts together. We need to see the good in others. And we need to push ourselves to even get to the highest of all our careers, our entrepreneurial journey, and even whatever we find ourselves doing. We just need to pull ourselves together as women and collaborate more. Networking can be important too in businesses, but for me, more importantly, we need to remember that it is important for us to build it before we need it. We should also remember that globalization is making life very easy. So like I said, now from wherever you are in the world, you can always reach out to somebody you find on LinkedIn, somebody you find on Facebook, somebody you find on any of the social media platforms that works for you. And that is how it is now. And that is what we should embrace as businesses. And that is what we should embrace as leaders. And going forward, if we were not doing it right in terms of networking, I think from today, we should all remember that we all have what it takes to make the world a greater place. We all have what it takes to make it better than we found it, to live, I mean, a better mark for generations to come. And because of that, we need to set the platform right. We need to do the right things in our businesses. And we need to actually leverage on the key networks that we find ourselves in. Another food for thought for me is that um, we, we networking is, for me, I say it's marketing because you need to market yourself out there. But make sure that you are marketing it right. You are, you are labeling yourself as you are. You are branding yourself as you are, and you are being very authentic. You are not actually doing it just because it's social media and nobody gets to find out because consistency is key. And with time, we would get to know whether you are who you say you are or you are not. And in branding, it's very important to be authentic. A few call to action for all of us as we go back after this conference, a few call to action that we should remember. I would like you to project that so that everybody would see. It's about two slides from you. I'm always ahead of you. <laughs> Katie, please go two slides ahead of you. But the first one is be a collaborator. No, it's getting to the end, please. Be a collaborator. That's the first one I would like to share. No, getting to the end, Katie. Be a collaborator. Join a valuable network or group. Be intentional about your personal brand and make time to build your relationships, like I said. So, no, Katie, just, just project this. I've done it, but you can just go back and project it. Please go. It's like two slides to the end. So basically, a few call to action that I just wanted to touch. Like I said, be a collaborator. Collaborate more instead of competition. Join a valuable okay. network. Go back, um, yeah, down. Yes, here. That's it. This the one? one with the green. No, the one with the green, the one before this. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Call to action. Yes. Yeah, so I just wanted this to sound in our minds as we go back. Remember to be a collaborator. Remember that it's more of collaboration in this day and age or this era of business than competition. So form strategic partnerships across the globe, get your businesses across the globe and make sure that you are helping yourself and also your businesses to grow. Join a valuable network or group. So for instance, we are all under well today. How well are we going to leverage on the world platform to build greater relationships? Also be intentional about your personal brand build a consistent brand, a brand that is true, a brand that is authentic, a brand that will stand the test of time. And then make time to build your relationship. That I can reiterate over and over again, just to let you know that it is important for us to build the relationships before we need them. 
we don't wait till we need it and then we now try to build it because in that case it will be like we are being opportunistic and that is not how we want businesses to be seen so on this note i'd like to say a very big thank you and remember that you have all it takes to impact the world you have all it takes to be a better person you have all it takes to make sure that your businesses grow and becomes more sustainable and especially as women let's remember that collaboration is the key in this day and age thank you very much for your attention if there are any questions i'm i'm ready to answer or any comments thank you so much Yes, it's a nice talk, obviously. Any questions? Anyway, my social media pages are also on the slides. So in case you need any further discussion on customer experience or networking, I'm available to be of help. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the session. And you're able to see the screen and certificate, right? I hope. Yes. Thank you so thank you. much. Thank you. Next, I would like to thank you so much. Yeah, hope you will join without fail next time physically, right? I will try. Are I will you definitely promising? try. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me heads up ahead on time, like I said. Yeah. I think at, for now, I know there is one in um, November in Dubai, which is likely for me to be there, and then in the US, if it's it's, it's Miami. appropriate. Yeah. And, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank I you. I will share so you much. the details. Sam sure. and myself will share the details. Yeah. Thank sure. you. Thank you so much.